Hello Minions, Wheezy here, and today I'm going to talk to you about a fast way to rank up your Call of Duty Cold War weapons in Warzone. So, let's go check it out. Okay, so I originally planned on making this video to show that there was an easy way to effectively rank up Call of Duty Cold War weapons inside of Modern Warfare, specifically Warzone, as a way to kind of avoid the grind of ranking up weapons inside of uh, Cold War. As a follow-up to this, to recording this video, which is showing me, this is a cut-up of me playing um, three matches of Plunder in Warzone. And just to show, you know, didn't take a whole lot of kills to get a decent amount of ranking up, and I'll go into that a little bit more. But originally it was supposed to show that this was a, in many ways, a better and faster way to rank up weapons. So to prove that, I then went into Cold War uh, multiplayer to compare how fast the weapons ranked up there, and I found that this really wasn't as great as I thought. But... If you're someone that maybe doesn't have Cold War and just has Warzone and wants to rank up the Cold War weapons, this, I believe, is the fastest way to do that inside of Warzone. And so I'll get into that before I dig into the rest of it. So if you want to rank up your Cold War weapons in Warzone, um, you might be like me where you played a lot of Modern Warfare and you have some weapon double XP tokens stacked up that you didn't use. Uh, I went through and ranked up and unlocked everything for every weapon in Modern Warfare and ended up with a bunch of double XP weapon tokens that I never used, which served me no value in Modern Warfare because I've ranked up every weapon, so double XP on a weapon doesn't do anything. But with the new Cold War weapons, you can use your Modern Warfare double XP tokens for weapon, for your weapon, double weapon XP tokens, to be clear to rank up your Cold War weapons, and that rank carries back into Cold War. So if you play Warzone, and use, in this video, I used the DMR-14A just because it's kind of the meta now, so I figured it was sort of relevant, um, although it's about to get nerfed, so it's not gonna be the meta anymore. But because I'd never used it, so it was at rank one, it, you know, whatever, I hadn't ranked it, I haven't, hadn't used it at all. So these three games of Plunder were the first time I'd ever used it, and I was seeing how fast it would rank up. So you can see after one match, with a double XP token, it was already at level six, which isn't bad considering that I killed, I don't even remember, I, I showed it in there. I killed like five or six people, like not many people, um, which seemed like a pretty decent amount of ranking. As it turns out, that's really not um, if you have access to Call of Duty Cold War, and especially if you have access to Call of Duty Cold War with a double XP weapon token. Um, but for Warzone, especially if you're like a free-to-play player or you don't have Cold War or maybe you just don't enjoy Cold War multiplayer because it's... I'll make a separate video about that. <laughs> I mean, it's pretty, it's kind of okay, but anyway. Um, this is, this is a good, a good way to have fun. Plunder isn't try-hard mode. If you go into Warzone matches, you're, it's going to be a lot more hit and miss because A, in order to rank up the weapon, you'd have to get a loadout drop or pick up the weapon off of someone else in order to start ranking it up. Then you'd have to get kills with it inside of Warzone when people are already pretty tryhard. Plunder is kind of the Warzone equivalent of playing multiplayer, you know, round, like round matches, more team deathmatch kind of in Warzone. Um, so it's a good way to, you get to choose your loadout, you drop in with it, you get to use that weapon, and you get to rank it up every time you get a kill. So, yeah, if you've got double XP, double weapon XP tokens from Modern Warfare, okay. you can use them to rank up your weapons in Cold War by playing Plunder. Um, so, and that's a, that's a valid way to do it. Based on my comparison, um, I wanted to compare this, this method with just playing regular multiplayer in Cold War without a double XP token. And what I found was that, and I, this, so these three games of Plunder took about an hour of my life, right? So it's not necessarily an hour full gameplay. These matches are pretty long, so there's not a lot of action in, in Warzone, but in Plunder especially, like, well, not especially, Plunder's faster than Warzone, but compared to multiplayer, right? And if you play a multiplayer game, you're gonna get 15, 20, 30 kills. You play a game of Plunder, you're gonna get five or six. Because of that, the XP gained 
for getting kills is significantly higher. So you don't need as many kills in Plunder to get a lot of XP, especially with a double XP token, as you can kind of see in these clips here. That said, from what I found, just in an hour of gameplay this versus an hour of gameplay in Cold War with no double XP weapon tokens, so after the second game is about level 12, they're about equivalent. So playing Plunder with double XP tokens is about the same as playing Cold War without a double XP token. Now, when I found that result, I was disappointed. I was, I was, hoping, I was hoping the Plunder method was going to be a little bit faster. Um, but it's not. But it's an option for people who either don't have Cold War, like I've said before. Um, then I decided to test an hour of gameplay because I unlocked in my season pass... Um, a couple of one-hour double XP tokens for Cold War, for we double weapon XP tokens. And what I found is that that is much faster. Um, to be fair, the hour I spent, and it looks like, because the double XP tokens are supposed to last an hour of real-world time, not game time, so when you start it, it starts counting down. I'm relatively certain that my one hour double XP, double weapon XP token in Cold War lasted about an hour and 15 to an hour and 20 minutes. Which I'm not super surprised Cold War, like it seems like whoever created this game is not very smart, not very good with code. <laughs> anyway, so about, so I, it felt like I played probably four or five games in an actual lifetime hour, like my hour of the real world. And then I got another one more match in. So after what I thought was, what I'm pretty sure was an hour of real world time, there was still 10 minutes left on my on my double weapon XP token. Um, but whereas three games of plunder, I think you'll see here, I got about 16 levels on a DMR from no ranking. In multiplayer, I use the PP19 or whatever they call it, the bold frog bulldog bull shit. <laughs> I use that in free for all because um, again I was trying to compare it to what I recommend is the fast if you haven't seen my video on the fastest way to rank up in Cold War go watch that it's spoiler it's free for all got about to level 16 so this was level 15 regular free for all in Cold War was about level 16 in about the same amount of time and with a double weapon weapon XP token I did that on the Mac 10 when I unlocked it which to be fair is a little overpowered right now and so I had some really good games with it. But that said, um, not completely out of the realm of how I would normally play in Free For All, and not in incredibly dissimilar from how I played the regular multiplayer with the Bullfrog, Bulldog, Togfrog, PP19. Um, but I got to like level 28 on the Mac 10. So the fastest way for that is if, if you have Cold War multiplayer and a double X weapon XP token, okay, yeah, that's the fastest way to do it. But... If you want to use some of your old weapon, double XP weapon tokens that you haven't used from Modern Warfare to rank up your Cold War weapons, jump into Plunder. It does the job. So uh, I hope that was helpful for you guys. Um, I'm a little disappointed it wasn't quite as helpful. The fastest way to rank up weapons in Cold War is still to play free for all, um, especially if you have double XP tokens for that. So um, if you guys got value out of that, like it. If you didn't like it, dislike it so that I know that you guys hate shit that isn't useful. And uh, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.